Bet. Bass fishing at its best. Is proudly brought to you by Sniper Boats, where performance and value meet. So far, the morning's fishing at Makolo has anglers stumped. The morning's fishing has not gone to plan, as anglers throw everything but the tackle box at the water. Moving to the adjacent bank of the bay, we rejoin Team Sazinda Salvage, currently 15, hoping the move will bring them better luck. Yeah, two weeks ago, we uh, found fish on this ledge here. And we're doing exactly the same as we're doing now. Dave was fishing with a jig. I was fishing with a eight inch dead ringer. Oh, nice. First one of the day. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> well done. Nice. Yeah, starts the day. Starts the day. Oh, nice, Dave. Oh, what a pleasure. Oh, <laughs> that felt good. Well done, David. Two. <laughs> Thank you. Lucky. Fishing in the main channel, off a cliff and in deeper water, father and son, Alan and Garth of Team Kenny Brokers boast a full limit. So we got managed to get a reasonable draw, so we managed to get up to the top of the river. We got four quick fish. I dropped a few small ones and then um, we got a bit crowded in there. So we, we left, came to our secondary spot and very quickly, um, in about 40 foot of water, we picked up some, some nice keepers. So we just sort of gonna stay here. There's some nice bushes here. Having a decent depth finder definitely helped. You can see the fish suspended and on the bottom. And just dragging a jig down the bottom, yeah, it's just, we've got three good fish over a kg now, so it's a nice cob. A few little ones we must still cut out, but uh, not too unhappy about the stage. Uh, I think it's just, uh, I know the area, I know the spot. I know there's a whole bunch of brush piles down here. But I uh, see everybody's just fishing the banks and they're not catching fish. I don't see anybody striking fish. So we're staying off the banks, fishing in about 20 to foot of water, and our boat is between 50 and 60 foot of water. So we're fishing a much deeper, I think, and just dragging a, a jig down there. Garth's using watermelon, I'm using black, we're both catching fish. I think it's just happened to be in the right spot at the right time. If the fish are going to know it, and both, you know, you can tell a, 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 when you're on a good pattern, when that, that lure is in the back of the fish's mouth, and he's had it in the back of the, of the mouth, and so have I, and we're both using different colours. I think it's the size and, and the zone that we're in at the moment that just makes those fish say, I'm going to eat now. Schneck. The McChrystal Insurance Tournament Conditions. Weather conditions. Sunny to partly cloudy in the afternoon. Air temperature, 15 to 35 degrees Celsius. Water temperature, 24 to 27 degrees Celsius. Water conditions, clear apart from the dirty flowing water of the river. Average depth of catches, 15 feet. Having had a great start to the morning, Team Robor of Stephen and Reed fished the dirty water of the river section. Okay, at the moment we've got three fish. We've got one of about 1.8 kilos, another one of about 1.2, and then I think the other one is about 800. The two bigger fish came, both of them came on a, a green pumpkin magnum fluke, Texas rig, uh, and it was an early morning bite. First half an hour when we came to this area, caught all our fish and it's quiet now, yeah, quiet down. Uh, so we'll see. This is our biggest so far. We need four more of them. Uh, looking for something different against these cliffs, like little small little bays or points that it makes, just concentrating, fishing on that. I think that seems to be the thing to do. I think we're going to stay here for maybe an hour and then go to our other areas. We've got a couple of other areas similar to this, maybe go and try that. Out. As the afternoon wind picks up and channels through the valley, we go on board with Team Euro Truck Spares, currently 10th. 
it's the first first time I we, I haven't pre-fished a, a, a competition. So we came here with a total neutral frame of mind, and I, I'd, I'd we'd, we'd heard that the fishing is difficult. So sometimes pre-fishing puts you into a frame of mind that might not work on the day, and um, we're just taking it as it comes, and it seems seems to work. We're covering water. Um, going, going from recognized spots to spots and um, well so far we've got our bag eh? what we're doing is we're fishing combination of jigs and carolina like carolina or moja and um, we're showing, throwing right up against the bricks on the, on the shoreline and, and retrieving back to about 14 to 16 feet, feet and basically bouncing the lure along the bricks as on the way down. So um, that seems to be enticing the bite. What we're gonna do is we're going to um, just finish off this little stretch here and then we're gonna move to another spot. It's got much the same kind of structure with a couple of big boulders. And hopefully we can try find a fish in between the boulders there. The bite's been all except one fish, the bite has been very, very subtle, and I think uh, I think that's going to be the key for today, today is to is to pick up those subtle bites. Might be the difference between a bag and not. As most of the field is becoming increasingly frustrated with the lack of bites, you can bet that somewhere, someone is making a pick of themselves. Having not moved and back up river, Team Roughneck. Um, as I was saying earlier, um, there's, there's this one rock and um, we, we actually fished it the wrong way this morning. Um, we now it's lying exactly where we want it to be. We're downstream of that rock. So these fish are concentrated. I think they're just downstream of that rock. They're just hanging there, waiting for, for anything to bounce on. So we've been fishing the way that we, that we fished the spot before that we wanted to, and the yard uh, produced the correct results. So we're happy chappies at this point in time. Um, shaking at the knees, I reckon. <laughs> there was some pretty nice, uh, pretty good excitement there as well. So, uh, yeah, no, it gets the adrenaline pumping and um, that's, that's why we love the sport, eh? It uh, gets the adrenaline going. So it's like that. Enjoy it. We got, I must add, uh, we got some encouragement earlier in the week. Uh, I think we were challenged by Team World of Fishing, called Stephen Shaw. So it would be nice if we can uh, if we can give them a hiding today. Um, so yeah, there's some there's some incentive to fish for. In it. Seems like you were sleeping a bit there, boy. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> fish is in the boat. There you go, another Makola bass. Bet is driven by Imperial Toyota, your lifestyle dealer. 